On today's episode, I want to share one of the most exciting features Webflow is coming up with, and that is the ability to take animations from After Effects, implement them in your website super, super fast. Let's dive into it. Everybody, what's up and welcome to another Webflow Weekly where I'm sharing tips and tutorials about making a beautiful website with Webflow today. I'm so excited about this new feature. It's called Lodi Integration. I'll dive deep into what is that in a second, but this is just mind blowing. The ability to take vector animations straight out of After Effects and implement them so easily in your website. This is going to be a real, real game changer. And I, before that, used to take so much effort to do that. Um, now it's just so simple. So what is this? What is this Lodi integration? So before, if you wanted to take a vector animation to create SVG animation and not hand code all the animation yourself, you had to use something called Lodi integration. Lodi is kind of a, a plugin or um, a code base that was in, in developed in uh, Airbnb so they can use uh, SVG animation. Um, and it's based upon a free plugin for After Effects called uh, Body Moving, which just exports the After Effects animation as a vector. If this is too technical, you'll see how simple it is in just a second and you won't have to understand anything technical at all. So let's just jump right into it. So here's a website um, done by Lemonade, really cool company, always coming up with a great design. Um, and this website, you can see that this kind of a line scrolls with you as you scroll along. Really, really nice design and intricate. Um, and one of my friends asked me, how do you do that? How can you do that? And now this is going to be so simple to build. We're going to build this in like five minutes. So obviously it creates a lot of time to create the interaction, but I'll show you how simple it is to build something like that. So here, um, here's After Effect, and I've created here um, a small animation that looks something like that. And the way that we're going to do this, there's actually a background here. Um, it looks something like this. I just don't want to render out the background. Um, so here I have installed the body moving and it's a free plugin that you can install in your After Effects. Um, obviously it works on vector animation, not on, I guess, a video or something like that. So now that we have it, we actually choose just which composition we want to export. Um, I'll just export this one. So let me just render it and the output that's done. The output is a file is that's a file that's called JSON file. So as you can see it here on my background, um, on my desktop, it's called data.json and it's a 6K. That's, whole, that's the whole animation. That's crazy. Um, so let's jump right into Webflow. So I've built here a website, really simple. I just gave the background a little color and I put a grid here with some text just so I have something to scroll along. And I wanna bring in the animation into this. So very soon, you'll all be seeing here in the media, this Lottie animation here. Right now it's in beta. I think it's coming up in like a few days or weeks. Very soon you're all gonna have this and this is amazing. So basically we're just gonna upload and I did this before. So let me just down delete this. We're just gonna upload this data JSON here and you might be able to see, I don't know, it's too tiny, but you'll be able to see it playing here. Um, now I can just drag this into the canvas or just drag this kind of a Lodi uh, media, but let me just drag this whole thing here into the background. So right now we just have it. As you can see, we can see it, we can scroll, it sits here on the top. If I click this settings here, I can even play this animation. You can see it plays in the background and basically that's it. Right now it's, it's in our website. If I'll do a preview, we have this animation, right? It plays, I can scroll down and it's really nice, but we wanna make it smarter than this, right? So we want to have it, first of all, fix in the background so we have the text overlaying on top of it. We want it to be connected to the scroll position so that you know when we're beginning, um, this line and circle are gonna move um, together with the mouse. So basically, if you think about this theoretically, what we want to have is at the top of the page, um, the first frame of the video, and at the end of the page, the last frame of the video. This is basically how it's going to work. First of all, let's though uh, make sure that this is fixed in the background. So let me just call this um, animation fix. 
Um, I just want to change the position here to fixed position to make sure that no matter where I scroll, this stays up in this position. Obviously, the layout is not perfect, but it's just a demonstration. So now that we have it fixed, and I'll do something like Z index 2, so the text is always on top of it. Um, I'll just go here into the interaction. Now Webflow made it really, really simple to trigger the animation based on any normal interaction. So you can trigger the animation based on a click or a hover. But in this case, what we want to do is to trigger it based on while page is scrolling. So let me add that animation and create a new scroll animation. Let's call it scroll animation, obviously. Um, and then since this one is chosen, if I'm going to add what property do I want to animate? So instead of moving it, I'll have a new property here that's called Lottie. So let me pick that up. And as you can see, we have it at scroll position zero and scroll position 100. At scroll position zero, I want the frame to be actually zero. And this is basically set up already. But at scroll position 100, I'll just bring it to the last frame, frame 100 or 100%. It's actually frame 169. And basically, we're done. Huh? So if I'll just preview here and I'll scroll, you can see that it just works. So and at the beginning, it's frame number zero or frame and at the end, 100% scroll. So that's it. That was that simple. And as you can see, when I scroll up, it plays in reverse. When I stop, it stops. So it's completely connected to my scroll position. And it was done in like, let me see, six minutes, 47. And with me talking so much, so it basically took like 30 seconds, right? So this is incredible. I've already used this uh, Lottie animation on client website, and it's been so simple and, you know, improves the quality of your of your website when you're adding these tiny little vector animation and then the small little touches it really adds a ton to your website makes it more premium makes it more unique and i honestly i don't know any other way to integrate svg animation so easily into your website so this is just like mind-blowing and i think like literally for this feature alone it's worth getting into webflow and building your website with webflow so that's it. I hope that was useful for you. I hope you got excited about this. I'm looking forward to see what you're going to build using this feature. If you want to learn more about how to build websites with Webflow, you're welcome to check in my Webflow Masterclass at the link below. I'll see you on the next video.